All right. We're going to start with a Massachusetts walk around. We're going to start right here. My left turn signal light, amber in color, clean that crack, working properly. My mirror bracket, my handle, my steps. I'll do my three point stance. It should be all secure. My DOT number is valid. My fuel sticker is uh, right color and valid. My door opens and closes. My hinges are secure. I should have 100% of weather stripping all the way around. My grab bar secure. My fuel tank, my fuel lines are secure. No cracks, no leaks. My fuel straps, no rust, which indicate looseness. My fuel cap secure. If you wanted me to open it, I check for a metal chain and a rubber gasket. My steps are secure. My dummy coupling secure. My header boards clean, no holes, no damage. My electrical lines and air lines, no cracks, no leaks, not dragging on the catwalk. My glad hands, emergency and service line are all secure. If you wanted me to check my glad hands, I make sure uh, the grommets aren't wrinkled or torn. If you wanted me to check my electrical line, I make sure the pins are straight, not bent, and there's no corrosion in it. My catwalk, secure to my frame, no missing bolts. My drive shaft. It's straight, not bent, no cracks in it, and the U-joints should be properly greased. No missing end caps and no debris in it. This here is my water and fuel separator. Secure, not leaking. Massachusetts, I can crawl underneath the truck here and I can check both my airline secure, no cracks, no leaks. My brake can and clamp are secure, no missing bolt, no leaks. If I could check both my slack adjusters and push rods, uh, there should be no more to one I should throw and push rods should be straight, not bent. My quarter fender secure. My spring hanger secure, no missing bolts. No space between my fifth wheel trailer apron. My fifth wheel handle should be in locked position. This is a sliding fifth wheel. So I make sure the pins are out in locked position and I have proper space between my tractor and my landing gear. Again, my spring hanger secure, no missing bolts. Kick both my tires for proper inflation. Tread depth should be evenly worn, no less than 2 32nd of tread depth. Can be a recap. My sidewalls, no cuts, cracks, or abrasions. My rims, no cracks or welds. My lug nuts and my axle bolts are all secure. No rust, no shiny threads with some decayed looseness. That's where I would check and fill it. Both my valve stems and metal cap are secure, not leaking, and the axle is not leaking. In between my duals, there's no debris. No space between my rims, no cracks or welds on it. My tires are evenly spaced, no cuts, cracks, or abrasions. Nothing here in between my duels, no debris, no space between my rims, no cracks or welds, no cuts, cracks, or abrasions on the inside sidewalls. Tread depth should be evenly worn, no less than 2 of tread depth can be a recap. My trailer apron. Bottom of my trailers, clean, no holes, no damage. No space between my fifth wheel trailer apron. My fifth wheel appears to be properly greased. My locking jaw is locked around my kingpin. My fifth wheel securely mounted to my frame. No missing bolts. My frame, straight, not bent, no missing bolts, not bent or damaged. My airbags, secure, fully inflated, not leaking. My mud flaps, no missing bolts, not dragging on the ground. My left turn signal light, red in color, clean that crack working properly. My tail, right tail light, red in color, clean that crack working properly. My reverse light, white in color, clean not crack. My license plate light, it's clear, clean that crack working properly. License plate probably mounted and valid. My shock absorbers are secure. No missing bolt top and bottom. No leaks. Both my spring hanger, leaf springs, and U bolts are secure.
door, no broken or missing parts. Both inside my rim, no cracks or welds. Both inside my brake linings, no less than a quarter inch thickness. Both my brake drums, no bluing, which indicate overheating, free of any contaminants such as oil and grease. Both inside sidewalls, no cuts, cracks, or abrasions. My floor, my cross members are secure. No bent or broken cross members, no holes in my floor. My landing gear, secure, no missing bolts, not bent or damaged. Both my footings are secure, upright positioned. If I have a light up on top here in the corner, that would be my clearance light with the amber and color clean, not crack working properly. Side of my trailer, clean, no holes, no damage. At least 50% of DLT reflective tape. My, my uh, landing gear handles in lock position. My mid trailer left turn signal light, amber in color, clean that crack worker properly. If they ask me, it also indicates my trailer is 30 feet or longer. Again, my airline secure, no cracks, no leaks, at least a foot off the ground, 18 inches. My sliding tandem levers in lock position, my pins are out. No debris between my duals, no space between my rims, no cracks or welds on them. I can see the inside uh, valve stem and metal cap secure, and no cuts, cracks, or braces on the inside sidewalls. I would kick both my tires for proper inflation. Tread desk should be evenly worn, no less than 2 32nd of tread depth. I would go straight to the other side and do the same exact thing. My tread depth, no less than 2 32nd. No debris between my duals, no space between my rims, no cracks or welds, no cracks or uh, cuts or abrasions on the inside sidewalls. Tread depth should be evenly worn, no less than 2 32nd of tread depth, and they all can be a recap. Then I start in the middle. Both my airlines are secure, no cracks, no leaks. Both my brake can and clamps secure, no missing bolt, no leaks. If I could check both my slack adjusters and push rods, no more than one inch of throw. Both push rods should be straight, not bent. I cannot check them because my spring brakes are applied. Both my spring hanger leaf springs and U-bolts are secure, no broken or missing parts. Uh, both my shock absorbers are secure, no missing bolt top and bottom, no leaks. My air tank secure, uh, no leaks. Uh, if I have a pull string, that's how I would drain it after every shift. Both inside my rim, no cracks or welds. Both inside my brake lining, no less than a quarter inch thickness. Both my brake drums, no bloom, which indicate overheating, free of any contaminants such as oil and grease. Both inside sidewalls, no cuts, cracks, or abrasions. Deep set of tandems, I kick first uh, inflation. Tread depth should be evenly worn, no less than 2 32nd of tread depth, can be a recap. Uh, it, again, no debris between my duals, no space between my rims, no cracks or welds on them. Uh, tires are evenly spaced, no cuts, cracks, or abrasions. Both my sidewalls, no cuts, cracks, or abrasions. Both inside my rims, no cracks or welds. My lug nuts and my hub bolts, are all secured and not leaking. That's where I would fill it and check it. Here's where I would fill and check this one. My metal valve, uh, valve stem and metal caps are secure, not leaking. My ABS light, amber in color, clean night crack working properly. My marker light, red in color, clean night crack working properly. Both, my mud flap, no missing bolts, not dragging on the ground. My mud flap on this side, no missing bolts, not dragging on the ground. Both my airline secure, no cracks, no leaks. Both my brake can and clamp are secure. No missing bolt, no leaks. If I could check both my slack adjusters and push rods, no more than one or to throw. Both push rods are straight, not bent. Both my spring hanger leaf springs and U-bolts are secure. No broken or missing parts. Inside my rim, no cracks or welds. Both inside my brake lining, no less than a quarter inch thickness. Both my brake drums, no blue, which indicate overheating, free of any contaminants such as oil and grease. Both inside sidewalls, no cuts, cracks, or abrasions. My ID lights, red in color, clean, not crack, working properly. 
My door is clean, no holes, no damage. My latches are in lock position. My left turn signal light, red and color clean, not crack working properly. My brake lights and my right tail light, red and color clean, not crack. And those lights are working properly. My license plate light, clear, clean, not crack working properly. License plate properly mounted and valid. My STC bar, straight, not bent, no missing bolts, not damaged, at least 50% of DLT reflective tape. When my trailer is loaded, I should be no, my STC bar should be no lower than 18 inches off the ground. When my trailer is empty, I should be no higher than 30 inches from the ground. Now what I had asked an inspector, would you please assist me in checking my brake lights? So I would gently pull down. Once they give me a thumbs up, my brake lights are working. Then I will put on my right turn signal lights. So my left marker light or tail light is red in color, clean, not crack, working properly. My right turn signal light is now red in color, clean, not crack, working properly. My marker light, red in color, clean, not crack, working properly. Side of my trailer is clean, no holes, no damage. Should have at least 50% of DOT reflective tape. I'll kick all four of my tires for proper inflation. Both my sidewalls, no cuts, cracks, or abrasions. Both inside my rims, no cracks or welds. My lug nuts and hub bolts are not broken or missing and not leaking. No rust, no shiny thread would indicate looseness. That's how I would fill and check it. And this side here, my lug nuts and my hub bolts are all secure. No rust, no shiny thread would indicate looseness, not leaking. My valve stem and metal cap secure, not leaking. This valve stem and metal cap secure, not leaking. I would also locate my other valve stem and metal cap secure, not leaking in both sets of tandems. My right turn signal light on my trailer, amber in color, clean, not crack working properly. If I had a city door, I would mention it. Only if I have one and it should be properly secure. Uh, clean, no holes, no damage, no broken or missing hinges and the steps should be secure. And also, if I had a spare tire rack, it should be properly chained. My tire should be properly chained and inflated. Uh, should be 432nd at tread depth. Uh, cannot be a recap, hopefully. That way I can use it for a steer tire and a trailer tire. My right turn signal out of my tractor is red in color, clean, not crack working properly. Again, kick both my tires for proper inflation. Uh, we did the tread depth on uh, when we were in the middle. So my sidewalls, no cuts, cracks, or abrasions. My valve stem metal cap secure, not leaking. My lug nuts and my axle bolts are all secure. No missing bolts, no rust, no shiny thread, which indicate looseness. No space between my fifth wheel trailer apron. Also, I check to make sure, since this is a sliding fifth wheel, that the pins are out in lock position on this side. My quarter fender secure. My frame, straight, not bent, no cracks or welds in it. My exhaust stack, no missing bolts. No black soot stains would indicate uh, a leak. My battery box, secure, and the steps. If you wanted me to open up my battery box, I check for tight connections and any corrosion. My air tanks are secure. This is where I would drain them after every shift. My bracket for my exhaust is secure. Under here, my air dryer is secure. No leaks. Basically takes the moisture out of my airlines. So when we hear a governor kick out, that's where the air pisses out of. My door opens and closes. 
My hinges are secure. Should have 100% of weather stripping all the way around. My grab bar is secure. My right turn signal light, amber color, clean, not crack, working properly. My mirror bracket secure. My right turn signal light, amber in color, clean, not crack, working properly. Final thing I'm gonna do is cancel my right turn signal light, put on my four-way flashers. Four-way flashers working here. Four-way flashers working in front of my tractor. On the side of my tractor. Four-way flashers on the rear. Right side mid-trailer right uh, is uh, flashing. Four of my four-way flashers are working here. Four-way flashers flashing here. Last thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna remove my goddamn chalk blocks. And that will complete my pre-chip inspection. Don't forget to remove my chalk locks. And that completes my pre-chip inspection.